Hello fellow collectors and welcome to the channel or welcome back and today on this edition of Coffee and Cards we're going to talk about the card that was going to make us all rich the 1988 Donruss Greg Jeffries. So with the boom of card collecting back in the late 1980s, the Greg Jeffries 1988 Donner's card was one of the first cards that everyone just had to have. This card kind of hit a peak price of $10 for a 1988 Donner set that now you could buy for itself for $10. Interesting enough too with this card that it was designated as a short print card when there is probably millions and millions and millions of this card out there right now and why was this card so sought after in the first place well first it was a, he was a prospect for a new york for a new york team which does make a difference but all you need to do is to flip over the back and just read the little back career highlights where it says regarded as the number one prospect in the abundant mets farm system after three straight sensational minor league seasons he batted 367 with 20 home runs, 81 runs, and 101 RBIs and 26 stolen bases in 133 games at Jackson last year and led the Texas League in doubles. So he put up a pretty monstrous season in the minor leagues, which led to the hype of him going to the uh, major leagues for the New York Mets, and things just took off from there. Tops missed the boat with Greg Jeffries in 1988. He did not have a 1988 Tops card. This is his 1989 Future Stars card, which was the first Tops card for Greg Jeffries. He also had a rookie card for the 1988 Fleer set, and he had a rookie card for the 1988 Score set. But he was also included in Upper Deck's inaugural 1989 set, which is a, a collector's classic. And you can see here they gave him a little rookie designation, even though technically it was not his rookie card. There are currently 91 PSA 10s. And if we take a look at some recent sales of these PSA 10s of Greg Jeffries, You'll see that the prices have kind of ranged between the $30 to about $50 range um, for a PSA 10 1988 Donruss Greg Jeffries. Now, Greg Jeffries did not make any of us millionaires, but it's still the stories and memories that what makes collecting in this hobby so fun. I would love to hear if anyone or what favorite card you had of Greg Jeffries. Was it the 88 Donruss? Was it the 88 Fleer of his? The 88 uh, scorecard, which I think is kind of a pretty underrated card of his. Or was it the 89 upper deck or his 89 tops? I'd love to hear in the comments below what you think um, is Greg Jeffries' uh, best card. So thank you for watching. And until next time, everyone, be good.